Hey everybody, Maction here, and it's no secret that some things are better for your memory and retention than others. For example, handwriting your notes will improve your memory of the subject matter much better than typing things out. It's no secret that I live a digital life, and you may not know this, but I take a lot of handwritten notes. There are some options for linking the analog and digital worlds, and I got my hands on one of them last week. The Neo N2 Smart Pen. After a successful Kickstarter, it began shipping this year, promising several features, including digital capture of your notes in either real time or saved on the pen itself for syncing later, audio recording so you can have audio from lectures or meetings synced up with the notes, and some really excellent precision. Those are some very appealing features. Now if we start by taking a look at the pen, we can start to understand how this all works together. It takes a rather standard ink cartridge, and while it can take many different types, you are advised against using certain gel type ink cartridges that might interfere with the data capture. Below the pen, it has some style of optical sensor that captures the data. Because of this sensor, it needs to have special paper, and much like a QR code, there is plenty of data hidden in the background on this special paper. What kind of notebook it is, which page you're on, and it is impressive the amount of things that they've worked together to make this work. For example, just something simple like moving on to the next page, and then flipping back to the previous page, is captured seamlessly. Now let me just walk you through the whole process. I started out by downloading the companion app, Neo Notes, from the Play Store. It's also available on iOS if you, you know, swing that way. And then I followed the instructions to pair the pen. I initially did not realize that what they meant by register was to pair the pen with my tablet, but, you know, I caught on fast enough anyway. The interface took very little time to figure out, which made it easy to experiment. Colors were super easy to figure out. Just FYI, um, I don't think this needs to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. The colors are only on the digital notes, and the uh, pen will still just do, you know, black ink on the paper. And without too much trouble, I had also found the audio recording as well as the transcription functions. Sadly, my chicken scratch seems to be just a little bit too much for the transcription to handle. I did discover that while the precision is quite great, it does have a little bit of an issue if your marks are too light, as you can see here. And if you need to email those class notes to someone, just hit that mail icon in the top of the physical page. Almost everything that this pen claims to do, it does, and quite well. It merges the analog and the digital world without any fuss, and because you can store a large amount of pages in the pen's memory, you don't even need your phone or tablet handy. You will lose some of the functionality in the notes, but you won't miss any of the notes themselves. Perhaps its greatest constraint, though, would be the paper. It only works with their paper, and their paper can be a touch spendy. But even that is not too big of a problem, because if you can print out an A4 page, you can print out the paper. I had some mild success with printing out my own pages, most of my issue came from a problem with my printer, to be honest, so a good effort on their part. Now I am sure that this would work great for artists, but I take tons of notes, and this was a perfect fit for me, which is quite surprising because at first I was not sure that I would take a liking to this, but it won me over. $169 is the current asking price for an N2, so if this interests you, be sure to give it a look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like goes a long way. Clicking on any of the videos will take you to a corresponding playlist for conventions, reviews, tutorials, and even Android games. And be sure to be subscribed so that you will be notified of new videos as they come out. Thanks again, and I'll see you around.